video is sponsored by Karma. This is so f***ing cool. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah. I'm your voice teacher. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Today, we're reacting to High School Musical. Every time I've reacted to High School Musical, I sing that song and it's actually from the third one. And here we are. We're watching the third one. Guys, this came out in 2008. I was 16. I saw High School Musical 3 in theaters with my best friend. I was a big fan. I saw it in theaters and I cried. I loved it so much. And you know what? If I cried, today, I make no apologies, okay? This is my channel. I can cry if I want to. I'm already like super defensive. <laughs> Lately, I've been watching a lot of DCOMs, by the way. If you want to watch the other High School Musical movies that I've reacted to, or Camp Rock, or just did the Cheetah Girls, which was pretty fun. Here's some of my other videos around here. Just go watch them. They're great. It's a great time. Oh, by the way, guys, the perk that I offer on my Patreon is longer videos. When I react to movies or episodes, there's obviously a lot that I have to cut out for the sake of time, for the algorithm, but also the copyright system would have my ass if I included everything I wanted to include. So what I offer on my Patreon is extended videos. So a video that is maybe 25 minutes on YouTube will end up being maybe 45 minutes on Patreon. <gasps> so if you want more of me, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Hannah Bills. Okay, thank you. Hey nerds, are you ready to go back to school? Do you love free stuff? Then listen up, because this video is sponsored by Karma. Karma is a free app and desktop extension that helps you become a better online shopper. Karma works with three main features. It automatically finds and applies the best coupon for you at checkout. So the Chrome extension is a must. You can plan and organize your shopping by saving items that you like from all of your favorite stores. And you'll get real-time price updates on the items you've saved. And the third feature is you earn cash back. I love that. But here's where Karma is just like, totally hip and cool. They're doing a back to school giveaway. 10 followers will win one of these rad branded lockers filled with back to school essentials. Let's open it up. What? Ah, it's me. A Polaroid printer. That's so cool. Oh my God. Am I cool yet? <laughs> um, there's AirPods in here. Thanks, Karma. What? Oh my God. Look how cute it is. And look how full to the brim. There's so much good stuff in here. Here's how to enter because I know you want one of these rad lockers. Go to Instagram and follow at karma underscore shop now and follow the instructions to enter the giveaway. Make sure you click the link in my description to get karma before you shop all those back to school sales. Go enter the giveaway on Instagram. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> Enough blabbing. Let's get into it. Okay, look at that. That is so cool. Oh God. No wonder 16 year old me saw this in the theaters and I was screaming, crying, throwing up. The first shot is a sweaty, panting Zac Efron. <laughs> okay, wow. I mean, that's, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Oh my gosh, look at Daddy Bolton's haircut. Yikes. And if you're like, does she just say Daddy Bolton? Take your judgment, get it out of here. You guys are, whoa, whoa. You're halfway through the game and you're already given this tood? Come on. You're gonna give up halfway through the game. That's beta behavior, honestly. That's not right. Oh. Honey, Daddy Bolton. Who did that to you? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? Oh no. Hey Bart, I don't know if you've watched my videos or if you're watching right now, but just in case you are, my condolences on this haircut. Unless of course it was your personal choice, in which case, no comment. 16 minutes. 16 minutes. To be a team. To be a team. What team? Oh, of course. What yes. Team? What team? What team? What team? Chad what comes team? in with the chant. Yeah. See, that's what they needed. They needed an energy bump. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, my God. Okay, I don't love the singing now. When his voice came in, couldn't understand anything he was saying because everybody was cheering. It was mixed so low. That's a choice that I don't particularly like. But listen, here comes Zach coming in with the vocals. He sounds so good. Okay, I remember the song now. Oh God. He just landed 
landed on his butt. He's fine. Oh, wait. Whoa. No, 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 no. Um. <laughs> God, Gabriella, Gabriella is just something else. Like, I don't know. God, this is so funny. It's time to turn it up, game on. <laughs> I hope that that really happened. This is not just a dream in his head. But Ryan in the mascot uniform, you know Ryan is too much of a bougie bitch to do that. No, he would never. Who's... Who sings this song? Why does this sound so familiar? It sounds like an Ally and AJ song. Tell me in the comments if you know who sings this song. Or is this a High School Musical 3 original song? It just brought me back. Thanks. Whoa, watch that tail, man. It's dangerous. You know it. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe Ryan is a furry. Hey, that would explain the mascot. Also why he is just dancing with a, <laughs> with a tail. You know, my mom and I have been talking about Stanford University pretty much since I was born. You're already in. That's so cool. <laughs> Except she won't stop talking about it. It's embarrassing. That was a very strange acting moment. Smile. And then... Ugh. My mom won't stop telling people that I got into Stanford. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Mom, stop. I'm not a big fan of Gabriella. I am a very big fan of her wardrobe. Pretty much every outfit that she has, I would wear. But her everything else, personality, everything? <laughs> no, no, not so much. <clears throat> Can you imagine what would happen if we could have any dreams? I really like Troy's voice. Then I would think that song that made our wish come true. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Vanessa Hudgens sounds great there. High School Musical songs really follow a pattern. I swear to God, the writers write the chorus and they're like, oh yeah, this, this chorus is banging. And then they figure out how to lead into the chorus. Like the song itself is like pretty catchy, but that transition from the verse to the chorus, that was just jarring. Bam. There's just no transition. It's just, here's the chorus we've been dying to sing for you. Troy Bolton loves those big arms. <laughs> All right, that was pretty cute. I'll give it to you. Zach sounds even better than he did in the second one. Did you guys see her boots? Oh my God. Gosh, she looks so good. I'm obsessed with her. And they match her skirt. Well, I need to rethink how I enter a room from now on. The power this woman holds. Oh my gosh. Look, she doesn't even have a backpack. She's just carrying a clutch. She, do she doesn't need books. School supplies? Pfft, no. Also, I will still defend Sharpay to the end of the earth. Minus her being like a little bit not very nice in High School Musical 2. She has always been the only person who supported Troy in singing and playing basketball. And then she's the bad guy? The Juilliard School in New York City, America's preeminent college for the performing arts, Mr. So Troy so Bolton. What? <laughs> Zeke's just maniacal laugh that just happened. I need to turn this into a meme. <laughs> Imagine having everything we ever dreamed. Don't you want it? Maybe. Sound exciting? Inviting. I love this song. Don't you see that bigger is better and better is bigger? A little bit is better. No, 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 no. Don't you want it all? Want it? No, don't you want it? 
Oh my gosh, I'm okay. Whoa, whoa, I am having like major like nostalgia flashbacks covered in chills. This is the song. This is the song of the movie. This is the second one, but it wins. Holy shit. look at her. She's an icon. No, no, no. Okay, I completely forgot about this little like daydream that they have right here. This is so freaking cool. Rolling out the pink carpet. She looks like Barbie. Also, I feel like we've all had that daydream before where there's somebody that like hasn't liked you or someone who has wronged you. And you're like, I'm gonna show you. You're gonna come crawling back and I'm gonna be like, no, you missed your chance. And she's having it right now on a pink carpet. Oh my God. I just love her so much. I'm not breathing. I'm really overwhelmed. This is so fucking cool. This is so the sets, the way that this this whole thing was designed. First of all, the song, an absolute bop. Like this is for sure going on my morning playlist. It's pumping me up. And the sets and the way that it's designed and the costumes and it's so good. Yo, Ryan, let's hear that note again. Listen to this. I am shocked that I basically didn't remember any of that, but I'm also so thrilled that I didn't because that was so fun <laughs> to experience like for the first time with you guys. Petition for Ashley Tisdale to have a run as Roxy in Chicago on Broadway. Guys, did you see her in that like silvery sequined bodysuit and her vocals? I'm sold. Ashley Tisdale, babe, I'm manifesting it if you're watching this. What was that? I mean, what should I say? What should I even say to her? Like, I'm such a big fan. Sharpay deserved better, but you made these movies. So iconic. I don't know if I want to be with you or be you. I think the answer is both. I'm calling it now. That was my favorite song of the whole movie. And we're only 30 minutes in. Oh yeah, they have that cool garden on the roof. That's not actually on the roof of like the real East High, is it? That is so cool, if it is. And she's wearing ballroom <laughs> dancing shoes, which I think is really funny. She's like, what a coincidence. I'm wearing my ballroom shoes today. Take a breath. Okay, that was really freaking cute. But also another example of the, I swear to God, the songwriters wrote the chorus. They were like, it's like catching lightning. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Write that down. Write that down. And then they're like, okay, well, now we got the chorus. Let's just, you know, get into it as soon as possible. Because there that chorus was just a little bit out of place. But oh my God, it's so cute. Look at this. so cute. Okay, so I'm currently taking social dance classes, salsa and bachata and West Coast Swing, and I want to take ballroom. But the first time I ever had to do that was when I was in The Little Mermaid. I was Ariel. Oh God, what's the song? What's the song that Eric sings to Ariel and they dance? Can't even remember what that song is called, but we had to waltz and we had to, you know, like go around this really big stage. So the steps we had to take were huge. They were humongous. It was ridiculous. And that was so freaking hard. Oh, that's so cute. No, is it gonna rain? Please tell me it's gonna rain and they're gonna dance in the rain. Yes! Does that a yes? In every language, we see ya yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Gabrielle is just so corny. 
corny. They give her the weirdest lines. Why can't she just like say yes and then they can kiss or something? A tuxedo? For what? For prom. Oh, honey. If that's what you call an invitation, you'll be dancing with yourself. Yes! <laughs> Taylor, you absolute queen! <laughs> Oh my God, I was literally about to say, that's kind of a lackluster invitation. Oh girl, oh, there is nothing more powerful than a woman who knows her worth. She's like, nope, that's not an invitation. Nope, mm-mm, nope, do better. God, I am so impressed. I love her so much. The Garden Club is rooting for you. The Garden Club had way better flowers than those. <laughs> those look like a bunch of weeds. Hey, I'm, I'm asking you to prom. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you because it's so loud in here. Grand gesture her ass, Chad, you can do it. Taylor McKessie, will you please be my date to the senior prom? I'd be honored. She, she is looking very like Velma right now. It's very cute. Guess now it's official. I do remember this. Can't back out, can't back out, no. Okay, I do have to say I really love how this one, High School Musical 3, is a lot more of like a musical. Like we're getting these like musical numbers that are suspending reality and it's very fun. I like it a lot. And the sets are so good. No, you gotta dress up. Oh my God. I hate that trope of like the girl dragging the guy to an event and him being like, oh, I guess I have to dress up. Meh. Everybody likes dressing up and having fun. Okay. So don't pretend boys. Mm -mm. You want to dress up and look hot because we know that suits are lingerie for men. You want to. So don't be a, like a stickler and be like so lame. You want to. Also, your girl wants to. <gasps> All right, I wanna be Sharpay when I grow up. The choreography is amazing. Like, Kenny Ortega outdid himself. Again. I love it! Speaking of prom, what are you doing? Well, it's two days before the show. You know, I'm writing orchestrations and fixing charts. I still have to write lyrics. Great. I'll pick you up at eight. You're on my mind, you're in my heart. Okay, that just gave me chills. <laughs> that was so smooth, Ryan. Oh, I love this song! This is so cute! Directing them. That's so cute. <laughs> that was so adorable. I'm malfunctioning. Also, the nostalgia. I remember just like dying over this when I was a teenager. I just loved it so much. Uh, this is probably my second favorite so far that I've heard. I Want It All by Sharpay is number one still. <laughs> Hold this. We were whatever we wanted to be whenever we wanted to be it. It was us, man. That was just like yeah. a... Well, you can't tell me that was a fuel pump. That looked like just a cap. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments, but that <laughs> just looked like he switched out a cap. Take it back to the place where you know it all began. Oh, this is interesting. Troy, what's this little dance move right here? <laughs> this looks cool, but I'm confused. Still. What? What? They're just having fun. They're just playing pretend. <laughs> Back. 
So cool. Chad and Troy, very cool. I, wow. It was very unexpected. I was delighted to see the little Troy and Chad, but that was a very repetitive song. It was way too long and very strange, and I did not understand why it was there. No, you won't. Just the show. You can come back for prom and graduation. Yeah. Girl, your future is calling loud and clear. You have to grab it while you can. Listen Taylor. to Taylor. Maybe I'll just stay here next year. What? Shh. That makes no sense. And why do I always have to make sense? Okay, true, true. Girl, you do not have to go to Stanford. I get it. If you don't want to go, you should not stay in Albuquerque to be close to a boy. No. If this were forever, what could be better? We've already proved it works. But in 2,123 hours, abandon the universe. 2,123 hours. Wow, that is such an interesting line that they decided to throw in there. These harmonies, they're really open. I think they're in fifths or fourths. That's what gives that really like open sound. It's not very pleasant right here. Abandon the universe. Do you hear that? Oh, that sounds just like Soarin' Lion. Best song ever from the first movie. We're breaking free. Right? They've all got a very specific sound. I think the funny thing is, at least from what I'm seeing, is that Troy is really agonizing over his future because he doesn't know if he wants to go to U of A. He doesn't know if he wants to play basketball. These are real concerns. Gabriella is agonizing over leaving Troy. I don't actually think Troy's that... Concerned about not being with Gabriella. I didn't mean basketball, silly. I meant Gabriella. What? Her missing the show is a little disappointing, but being selected for oh. Stanford's freshman honors program, you really didn't know? <sighs> Sharpay, you're diabolical. Why do I kind of admire her chutzpah? I always do the right thing. You know, but maybe I want to be a little crazy this time. Go to Stanford and go to some parties. Have some crazy college days. Don't do, like, be a little crazy, like, stay in town for a boy crazy. Don't do that. I guess I should have known better. I guess I should have known better. 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 I hate that. I have a thing about vowels. Like, it actually drives me crazy when that's just not even the word. <laughs> Better. You don't have to say better, but to say better, like you're from Australia. I should have known better. No, Gabriella, wrong. Just walk away. This is kind of a jam. I do, I do like the beat, but it's just really funny when she says, "Cause when my heart breaks, it's gonna hurt so bad." It's just really cute. I, I Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa, it was totally uncalled for, for them to put in this shot of Zac Efron. Absolutely unnecessary, but God, aren't we grateful? Troy, are you breaking into the school in a dark hoodie? Oh. God, flash warning, everybody. Oh my God, yeah. Punch him, punch him, Troy. Ooh. Okay, this is fun. This is way better than bet on it. He sounds great. I love his voice. It's just so dramatic. Ugh. Why is he crawling up the stairs backwards like that? Like, this just looks like a horror movie. And he did sneak into the school to do some vandalism. No, is someone there? Ew. <laughs> I submitted an application in your name to Juilliard. Better to consider opportunities now 
than in 10 years when life may limit your choices. I'm gonna say this for all my friends who are teenagers. You don't expire when you hit 30. You can change your career path. You are in control of your own destiny. You can do whatever the heck you want. So when you're 17, 18, and you feel like you have to have your whole life figured out, no. No, 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 no. And when you like rush into decisions at that point, that's also when you end up sticking with a job that you hate and then feeling like it's too late to switch. The world is your oyster, okay? You're in control, just know. The pressure, I understand it's valid, but also you do you, boo. I think I've run out of goodbyes. Why do you keep saying goodbye? I love you, Wildcat. Oh! I, <laughs> I love you, Wildcat. <laughs> No. There's something strange about that. Why? Why? She's the only person in this entire movie. Only person. Other than Daddy Bolton. He's the basketball coach that calls people Wildcat. I love you, Wildcat. <laughs> Ew. Okay, prediction. Gabriella is also a furry. Maybe she's into that. I'm gonna have a last dance with these, Ty. It's gonna be with you. That's so cute. This is so cute. It's a really pretty song too. I think they sound great on it. Are you guys gonna finally kiss? Do it, do it. Oh, that was a long one too. Ah! Disney. Martha is the star of the show. Look at those sweaty turns, damn. Good evening, Miss Evans. Two minutes till places. Oh, good. Can you tell Troy to come up here? I want to rehearse the kissing scene. Two minutes before places? Yes! <gasps> They're wearing, like, go-go boots and cat ears. Am I, like, exposing a conspiracy? Like, unveiling the fact that there are a lot of furries in this movie? Or it was written by a furry? Ryan! That top note was amazing. Yikes. <laughs> he doesn't know his choreography and he's not wearing the right costume and he didn't do the staging that was how it was supposed to go, so. But it was kind of cute. That's my dress. <laughs> I had one made just like it, only better. I'm playing Sharpay, remember? I don't really know why this is happening, but okay. Yay! It's all right. I have chills, I love this song. Yes, I love this. wrapped in. That looks like it's wrapped in an Ikea bag. Sharpay Evans, I believe you're in the wrong costume. Yeah, Sharpay would not just give up. Definitely always been a dream to like perform like a musical theater number surrounded by like men in tuxes, you know? That's just so glamorous. Yes. What? This is Sharpay's senior show and this is how it's going. I feel sad for her. Oh my God, they look like Betty and Judy from White Christmas. Look at that, it's so cute. Oh my God, I swear to God, if High School Musical 3 makes me cry. The Juilliard School Scholarship recipient, music. She should get it. She wrote this entire musical. Due to the excellence displayed here this evening, the Juilliard School has made an extraordinary decision. Like during the show, they made this decision. Mr. Ryan Evans choreography. Yay! For sure. Well deserved. I've chosen basketball. But I've also chosen theater. The crowd goes wild. The University of California, Berkeley, 
offers me both. When did he make this decision? But most of all, I choose the person who inspires my heart. That's why I picked a school that's exactly 32 with seven miles from you. That's really cute, even though I don't think they will last. Mr. Danforth. Chad. Why are they always taking breaks at the weirdest times to play basketball? One more steal, the final point. Danforth, bolt. You get out there and you get on stage. Yeah, they're just Never waiting for you. But the basketball players in this school can do, like, no wrong. Mm. Look at the E-H! These I love guys that. Are close because once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> he looked Gabriella directly in the eye when he said that. Always a wildcat. I don't trust the way they say that anymore. Always a wildcat. <laughs> Suspicious. Okay, this is such a good song. Good. The High School Musical movies really know how to have a finale. You gotta hand it to them. I forgot about that little bit. Sharpay should be just a pop star. She shouldn't be doing theater. She should just go get a record deal. Ooh. Chad and Taylor's Good. I wish they would have had like a duet so that they could waltz in the school gardens. That little like high school musical, that middle part, I can't explain. Like, what does that remind me of? But it feels really random in the middle of the song. I mean, I kind of love it, but that is so unexpected. Such a fun way to end the movie. Okay, okay, okay. That was so fun. God, every single movie has had just such a banger finale. I'm like all pumped up after I'm done. Definitely, I think out of all three, this one's my favorite. I forgot how good the songs are and the dancing, everything. It's so good. I think a little bit, it kind of just felt like a compilation of songs, like the plot left some things to be desired, but maybe I'm just projecting the fact that I just don't really like Troy and Gabriella together. So that's the entire plot, but oh my God, it's so good. And I want it all that Sharpay and Ryan sang. I need to learn that. And there's so many outfits that Sharpay wore that I just need, just I have to have in my closet. Thanks again to Karma for sponsoring this video. Click the link below to download Karma before the back to school sales. You're gonna wanna save some extra money this year and follow karma underscore shop now on Instagram to get entered into the giveaway for one of these cool branded lockers. If there are any other decoms that you want me to react to, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher. And now you are my students. Please check out my Patreon. Check out my Instagram and TikTok if you wanna see more of me. And I'll see you next time.